Am I the only one that thinks it's strange that Mr. Hope and Change is filling his entire cabinet with lobbyists and Washington insiders? Has it occurred to anyone but me that maybe the reason why we're in such bad economic shape is because we've been spending money on the wrong things? We've got people blowing up buildings, then we hire other people to rebuild the buildings that we blew up in the first place. Meanwhile, the bridges and the buildings over here and our infrastructure is all falling apart. It doesn't take an economic genius to figure out that if you're buying bullets and bombs, that you can't be building roads and factories with the same money. If you spend it on one thing, you can't spend it on something else. The only reason the system works at all is because the other countries, the countries that export stuff, the countries that actually produce things, they loan us the money so that we can buy their stuff. Well, at some point in the future, they're going to figure out that we owe so much money, we can't possibly pay it back. We have a federal program that turns food into fuel. We take corn and we turn it into ethanol, which dries up the corn prices. Meanwhile, you got people in Haiti who are so poor, they have to eat dirt cookies because they can't afford corn anymore. And then we wonder why the rest of the world hates us so much. We have $50 trillion worth of unfunded liabilities through Social Security, through Medicare, and we've got, what, a $100 billion bailout of the financial industry, a $50 billion bailout of the automotive industry. Where's this money going to come from? We've spent it all. We don't have it anymore. Y'all think we need new spending programs to stimulate the economy? I think the reason we've been in this problem all along is because we've been overstimulated. <laughs> a trillion dollars here and a trillion dollars there. Pretty soon you're talking about real money. The point isn't that I know how to fix the economy. The point is that nobody does. That's why we have markets. Central planning doesn't work. So don't get so excited when people promise you things like free universal health care. It's not really free. They have to take that money from somewhere, and that's just something else that's not going to get funded. Now, if they're going to limit the cost of health care, then doctors are going to make less money, which means we're going to have less doctors. And we already have a shortage of doctors. The most powerful government in the world cannot repeal the laws of economics. When you have price supports, you get surpluses. When you have price controls, you get shortages. Either way, you have a misallocation of resources. You see, the economy is too important to be left to the government. They can't even deliver the mail. Do you really want the same people uh, that run Walter Reed uh, Veterans Hospital to be running the health care system? I say let freedom ring. The government can help us out by spending less of our money and getting out of our way.